and chicken biryani chicken biryani and the plain kushka rice kushka rice and the chicken fry liver fry egg ah uh, raita lime and gravy donne biryani martivi donne biryani martira illi ah fantastic eva gravy gravy biryani oh <laughs> ನೀಡ್ ಬೋರ್ಡ್ I think when you come on the road and you just stand here the aroma of that biryani will waft outside to greet you almost there yeah. right and the third shop from there is there hanumanta condiments next to it just next to that this is the place hi folks welcome to a new vlog and we are in sheshadri puram a territory that i don't know much but i'm here thanks to this lady here Hello, Namaskara. Namaskara. You've met Pratiksha on some earlier vlogs. Pratiksha, of course, is the dynamic restaurant here, the owner of the Lighthouse Restaurant. Thank you. And uh, you've seen her on Food Lovers TV. In fact, we've also recently dropped a vlog on the Kripalamana channel featuring some of her GSB delicacies and also some very interesting dishes. So, if you haven't caught that episode yet, if you haven't caught that vlog yet, I'm going to place a link in the description. Do take a look at it. But in the course of that lunch Pratiksha spoke to me about a couple of places and one of them was a very interesting biryani shop correct yeah huh? so what's this biryani all about this biryani is a mix of pulao and donne biryani and the best part about this is it's more like homemade biryani and he's been there since i was in college so he doesn't even have a board his name is probably babu and so we started calling it babu biryani 10 years back i was quite regular then i don't know why i completely forgot about this place uh-huh. and uh, just about 2 months back uh, you know my son uh, suddenly told me mama why don't we go to that babu biryani it's been so long and then again 2 uh, weeks back i was here and it's the same that i used to have at least about 10 years back i don't yeah. remember much about the college days taste but of course what i had 10 years back he's the same he's the same sweet guy he doesn't know much about social media and all of that because i actually spoke to him asking if you know anyone had come here recommending your place he said nang enu gottilla nan ondu chikku phone use martin madam ashte nan bari otte tumstin madam ellardu ashte is what he said that's when i thought you know this guy definitely needs uh, some recognition his mother is the one who cooks the biryani is what he told me yes you know my fondness for the biryani and especially a biryani that's cooked with a lot of love cooked with a lot of passion and i'm told also interestingly that's the only dish he serves yeah that with a, just a starter huh. uh, probably can be a kebab one day or maybe a pepper fry huh. but simple huh. one simple one just simple, a simple okay. one yeah yeah fantastic and i must tell you it's just about 100 bucks and at least three of you can eat it <laughs> really like, especially if you get your container from home uh. easily three of you can eat it <laughs> I don't know about Pratiksha but I'm going to order my own portion of the biryani. So hoga na? Hoga. Uh let's go and check out the Babu biryani. Babu biryani. Fantastic. Yes. Let's yeah. go. Idella biryani vato. Eshto tik ready maartare? Ready na. Ah 12 o'clock. Well there's nobody at the store but I'm told they begin serving the biryani around 12. ಬಾಬು <laughs> Uh, so we'll probably wait for some time but i can already smell the aroma aroma of that biryani that's probably getting prepared in the back there first time actually i bought in till here otherwise we just take a parcel ah. there and go new yeah. amma wa new babu aur tai ala dodama avaru babu's missus chenage vasne bartta ide illi 
ಇರಬೇಕು ನೀವು ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ನೀವು ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಾ ಅದೇ ಇರಬೇಕು ಸೊ ದ ಲೇಡಿ ಇಸ್ ಆ ವೆರಿ ಕಾನ್ಶಿಯಸ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಯು ಡಿನ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಅಸ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ವೈ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಟ್ರೂನ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಬಟ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ದ ವೇ ದ ಪ್ಲೇಸಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ರಿಯಲಿ ದಿ ಎಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಯಾ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಸರ್ ನಂದ ಹೆಸರು ಕೃಪಾಲಮ್ಮನ ಎಲ್ಲ ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಐಟಮ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಅದೇನು ರಾಯ್ತಾ ಹೋಗಿಂದ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ ಸರ್ ನೀವು ಟೆನ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಟೆನ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಆಯ್ತು ಅಂಡ್ ಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಏನಿಲ್ಲ ಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಈಗ ಶ್ರೀ ಅನ್ನಪೂರ್ಣೇಶ್ವರಿ ವಿಜಯದಶಮಿಗೆ ಹಾಕ್ತೀವಿ ಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ನಿಮಗೆ ಇದು ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಹೇಗೆ ಐಡಿಯಾ ಬಂತು ಇದು ನಮ್ದು ಪ್ರೊವಿಷನ್ ಸ್ಟೋರ್ ಓನ್ ಬಿಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಇತ್ತು ಓ ಪ್ರೊವಿಷನ್ ಸ್ಟೋರ್ ನಿಮ್ದೆ ನಮ್ದೆ ಓನ್ ಬಿಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ನಾವು ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಏನಾದ್ರು ಫುಡ್ ಲೈನ್ ಹೋಗೋಣ ಮನ್ ಬಂತು ಅದು ಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಆಗಿ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿ ಬರಿ ಬೆಳಿಗ್ಗೆ ಬ್ರೇಕ್ಫಾಸ್ಟ್ ಇದೆ ವೆಜ್ ಬಾದ್ ಇಡ್ಲಿ ಪುರಿ ದೋಸೆ ವೆಜಿಟೇರಿಯನ್ ವೆಜ್ ಏಟ್ ಟು ಲೆವೆನ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿ ಅಂಡ್ ವೆಜ್ ಮೀಲ್ಸ್ ವೆಜ್ ಮೀಲ್ಸ್ ಕೂಡ ಇದೆ ಸಾಂಬಾರ್ ರಸಮ್ ಹಪ್ಪಳ ಪಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಓ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿ ಕೂಡ ಸಿಕ್ಕತ್ತೆ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಹಾವ್ ವೆಜಿಟೇರಿಯನ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಯು ವೆಜ್ ಮೀಲ್ ಸಿಕ್ಕತ್ತೆ ಬಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಯೋದ ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿ ಏನ್ ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿ ಏನ್ ಚಿಕನ್ ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿ ಚಿಕನ್ ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿ ಫ್ರೈ ಕುಷ್ಕಾ ರೈಸ್ ಕುಷ್ಕಾ ರೈಸ್ ಚಿಕನ್ ಫ್ರೈ ಲಿವರ್ ಫ್ರೈ ಎಗ್ ರೈತ ಲೈಮ್ ಗ್ರೇವಿ ಸೊ ಕುಕಿಂಗ್ ಯಾರು ಮಾಡೋದು ಮನೆಯವರು ಮನೆಯವರು ವಿತ್ ಲೇಬರ್ಸ್ ಇದ್ರು ವಿತ್ ಲೇಬರ್ಸ್ ನೋಡ್ಬೋದಾ ಸರ್ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಹೆಸರು ಮೇಡಮ್ ಲತಾ ಮಿಸಸ್ ಬಾಬು ಈಗ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದೀರ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಅಡಿಗೆ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದೀವಿ ದೊಣ್ಣೆ ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಾ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಫೆಂಟಾಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಗ್ರೇವಿ ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿ ಓಬ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಅವೇ ಮೇಲೆ ತುಪ್ಪ ಏನ್ ಹಾಕ್ತೀರಾ ಮೇಲೆ ಕಡೆ ರೆಸಿಪಿ ಯಾರ್ದು ನಾನು ನಮ್ದು ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಮನೇಲಿ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅದರಿಂದ ಹಂಗೆ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಮಾಡಿದೀವಿ ಬೇರೆ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಇಲ್ಲ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿನೇ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ದೊಡ್ಡ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಇದೆ ಅಡಿಗೆ ಮಾಡಿ ಮಾಡಿ ರೂಢಿಯಾಗಿ ಅದೇ ಹಂಗೆ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಆಗ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಅಪ್ಪ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಐದು ಜನ ಅಮ್ಮ ಅತ್ತೆಗೆ ಐದು ಜನ ಅದಕ್ಕೆಲ್ಲ ತುಂಬಾ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಮಾಡುವಾಗ ಅಡಿಗೆ ಮಾಡಿ ರೂಢಿ ಇದೆ ಪರಿಮಳ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ನಿಮ್ದು ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿ ಇದು ಕುಕ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಔಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ದೇ ಪ್ರತೀಕ್ಷ ನಾಯ್ಕ ಸ್ಮೆಲ್ ದಿ ಅರೋಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿ ಇದು ಎಷ್ಟು ಟೈಮ್ ಇದೆ ಈಗ ಕುಕ್ ಆಗ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಇದು ಇದು ಇನ್ನು ಹತ್ತು ನಿಮಿಷ ಹತ್ತು ನಿಮಿಷ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಟೆನ್ ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಸೇವ್ ದ ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿ ಬಟ್ ವಿ ಬಿನ್ ಯೋ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿ ಅರೋಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಆಫ್ಟೆಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಟು ಮೀಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಅದ್ ಮೇನ್ ರೋಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ ಫ್ಯಾಂಟಾಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಸೊ ಏನೇನು ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಇದು ಗ್ರೀನ್ ಮಸಾಲೆ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ಮೆಣಸಿನಕಾಯಿ ಕೊತ್ತಂಬರಿ ಆನಿಯನ್ ಶುಂಠಿ ಪುದೀನ ಮತ್ತೆ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಮರಾಟ್ ಮಗು ಎಲ್ಲ ಹಾಕ್ತೀರಾ ಅದು ಮಸಾಲೆ ನೀವು ಮಾಡುದ ಮಸಾಲೆ ಮನೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಡೈಲಿ ಗ್ರೈಂಡರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾಡಿ ಮಾಡೋದು ಫ್ರೆಶ್ ಮಸಾಲೆ ಹಾಕ್ತೀವಿ ಡೈಲಿ ಫ್ರೆಶ್ ಮಸಾಲೆ ಏನ್ ಇರಲ್ಲ ಕೊತ್ತಂಬರಿ ಸೊಪ್ಪು ಇಕ್ತೀವಿ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಡೈಲಿ ಡೈಲಿ ಮಾಡ್ಬಿಡ್ತೀವಿ ಸೊ ಎಷ್ಟು ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಹಾಕ್ತದೆ ಡೈಲಿ ಜೀರಿಗೆ ಸಾಂಬಾರ್ ಜೀರಿಗ ಸಾಂಬಾ
ಮಾತ್ರ ಮುಂಚೆ ಶಾಪ್ ಇರ್ಲಿಲ್ಲ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ಎಷ್ಟು ಹತ್ತು ವರ್ಷ ಆಯ್ತಾ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತು ವರ್ಷ ಆಯ್ತಾ ನಿಮ್ದು ಶಾಪಿಗೆ ಇವ್ರು ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತು ವರ್ಷ ತಿಂತ ಇದಾರೆ ಮಾತ್ರ ಬಾಬು ಅವರಿಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಅವ್ರದ್ದು ಶಾಪ್ ಎಷ್ಟು ವರ್ಷ ಆಗಿದೆ ಕಸ್ಟಮರ್ಸ್ ಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿದೆ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಏಟ್ ನೈನ್ ಇಂದ ಬರ್ತಿದೀರಾ ಇದೇ ಸೇಮ್ ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿ ತಿನ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಐ ತಿಂಕ್ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಗೋಯಿನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೇವ ಸಮ್ ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿ ಸಾಂಬಾರ್ ಕೂಡ ಬಂದಿದೆ ಈಗ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಜನರು ವೆಜ್ ಮೀಲ್ಸ್ ಬರುತ್ತಾ ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿಗೆ ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿಗೆ ಬರೋದು ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ರೀಸೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರಿ ಯಾಕೆ ಸೊ ಮಿಸ್ ಬಾಬು ಸಡನ್ಲಿ ರಿಸೋರ್ಸ್ಫುಲ್ ಆಂಟರ್ಪ್ರೀನಿಯರ್ ಹಿ ಸೆಟ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ಕೋವಿಡ್ ವೆಲ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಡಿಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮನಿ ಫಾರ್ ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿ ಬಟ್ ಐ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಟು ರನ್ ಮೈ ಬಿಸ್ನೆಸ್ and therefore the anna sambar and the masal vade the veg meals came into play correct the moment of truth we are finally going to taste that babu biryani, babu biryani. Uh, i'm starting off with the masala vada i don't know what the ambient sound is but there is plenty of sound in the background with all the customers and babu ordering the orders for people to take their biryani so the rice is quite uh, is a sort that clumps together uh, ಆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಖಾರ ಇದೆ ಐ ತಿಂಕ್ ದೆನ್ ಟೇಸ್ಟ್ ಅ ಬಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಟಾಚಿನೆಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ರೈಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದಿ ಸ್ಪೈಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಪೈಸ್ ಆ ದ ಗ್ರೀನ್ ಚಿಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಪೈಸ್ ಸೋ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಆನ್ ಅ ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿ ಆನ್ ಅ ಪ್ಲೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿ ಇಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಆರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಪೀಸಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಚಿಕನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅ ಲಿವರ್ ದಟ್ ದೇ ಸರ್ವ್ ಯು ಪ್ರತೀಕ್ಷಾ ಇಸ್ ಚೋಸನ್ ಅಸ್ ಆಪ್ಟೆಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಮಸಾಲ ವಾಡಿ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲಿವರ್ the way i'm coming from koramangal to yes mm. i used to watch your programs all the time thank you very much so this chicken do they cook in the biryani in the pulao uh, she got the chicken first no hmm babu idu chicken biryani olage otiye cook madara super helidre idu thumba jara krushka kelthare ha piece hordu hordu like madala adike ee gravy idrolu apply madthi ha idu edda samma try madi kodu ಚಿಕನ್ ಇದು ಗ್ರೇವಿ ಅದು ಗ್ರೇವಿ ರೈಸ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿದೆ ಸೊ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದೀಸ್ ಅಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಆಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಕುಶ್ಕಾ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ದ ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ರೈಸ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಎ ಕುಕ್ ದ ಚಿಕನ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಗ್ರೇವಿ ದೇ ಕುಕ್ ದ ರೈಸ್ ದ ಚಿಕನ್ ದೇ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ಲಿ ಕೀಪ್ ದ ಪೀಸಸ್ ಅಸೈಡ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಈಸಿ ಫಾರ್ ದೆಮ್ ಟು ಸರ್ವ್ ನಂಗೆ ಬೇಡ ಸಾಕು ಸರ್ ಕರಿ ಲೀಫ್ So I think this biryani is more like a home style biryani. Home style, yeah. Huh? More like how they make it at home. How they make it at home. So what's very apparent in this biryani is a green masala. There's plenty of spicing that goes into that biryani. Also what was interesting here is that sometimes in places like these I find the salt overpowering. Correct, correct. But out here the salt in fact is slightly under. Under. So perhaps if you want a little more of that salty hit, you can take probably the gravy, Great. right? The sherba. Yeah. Sherba. Ah, sherba. 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 Oh, so you're feeling full yeah i told you right it's sufficient for three yeah people. i think pratiksha wasn't joking <laughs> when she told me that each biryani that you will taste is good enough to feed at least two people when you go by the number of chicken pieces i think you get about four or five chicken pieces and uh, also that gravy oh that shera busy there now it is so hot i can barely i can barely hold my plate let's taste some of the liver now Mm. What's interesting is that in the 
chicken, you don't really taste too much masala. Masala. No? It probably doesn't uh, cook it with yeah. the masala. I think they probably cook it to a certain extent and then they dry it out. They take the meat out and then in that gravy the rice cooks. So I think what we saw cooking at the back was the rice, rice and all that gravy. That liver adds a nice meaty punch to that biryani. Yeah. I think if you eat the chicken just by itself, it may seem a tad dry. Therefore, you need plenty of that gravy. That gravy to literally drown your chicken in. Because they separate the chicken from that curry, and I think it stays out for a while and they dry it a bit, that chicken tends to get a tad dry, and some pieces you may find a little fibrous. The masala bade is nice, sir. Yeah, very nice. So one, one more. Hmm. I'm not able to finish this. You want half of this? It's so full. There's also bits of the chicken skin that you will find in that biryani somewhere. So the biryani here is quite rustic. Where do they hail from? Because he's speaking Tamil. So I think wherever they hail from, I think if you were to go to that village and taste the biryani, I guess that biryani would be something like this. So don't expect the biryani in the traditional sense. I think this is more like the Siraka Samba rice that's moistened with tons of that masala. The hot spices as well as the fresh ingredients like the green chilli, coriander and mint and that's the overwhelming flavour that you taste, no? Yeah. So when you tasted this the first time, can you taste it now? Is it the same? It's the same. It's yeah. the same. Absolutely the same. Nothing has changed. We haven't eaten anything else, yeah. just that biryani. And this but itself is filling and I don't think I can finish it because I'm not going to waste food. <laughs> I'm going to parcel it. So Pratiksha is going to parcel her biryani. This is a biryani that can easily feed to if you have a reasonable appetite. And perhaps if you the sort who is a picky eater, then perhaps three. Yeah. So, what I'm enjoying is the gravy, sherwa. And if the spice gets a little too much for you, you also have some nimbu, some lemon. The biryani that's very moist. Regular birthday, right? Like? 20 years in the. I think Babu doesn't know how long he's been cooking the biryani. Because Namge Bada confidence in the 10 years held it through, but I met two customers held it through. It's two years in the biryani. Pratiksha is also right here. You're still very young. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's a wonderful thing about places like these. They just want to feed people and that's what, you know, I don't know, today he's never, he didn't come up with that dialogue. Otherwise, he says, oh, <laughs> And that is for sure. Really, Bandre knew, Hotte full lagate. I think that's a beautiful thing about places like these. You just want to cook with a lot of love. love At the end of the day, it's the women of the house. It's I think first Babu's mum and now his wife who are doing the cooking out there. Babu and his people here are serving it. So it's basically home cooked food at the home end home. of the day. Yes, yes. And how much is this biryani? Uh, 100 bucks. 100 rupees? Yeah. So 100 rupees is for everything? everything yes. Including yes, the yes. egg, the yes, chicken, yes, the yes, liver? Yes. So if you want to savor a good home style biryani on a budget, well, Babu Biryani and soon to be named uh, Sri Annapurneshwari Biryani Mane comes highly recommended. I don't forget my GSB roots. This is how we eat rasam rice and papad. Solva rasam taste marta lal, huh? Solpa bari. Ashta beda, ashta beda, ashta sa beda. Arda adra. Ila la ashta beda. Waste agate, waste agate, ha. Hello, sorry. Ah, yeah. ah, ah. Ah. Oh, busy there, busy there. So also of course the environment here isn't the one with tables and chairs. So you got to really improvise like I am. Believe me, I don't know how I'm improvising, holding the two plates and also the camera. Rasam busy there, huh? you can hardly hold it. The Rasam actually you know, makes it very clear that these are Tamilians. Yeah. 
and also with the plenty of the pundu, uh, the garlic. Garlic, okay. Ah, uh, there's plenty of the garlic that you're tasting. Actually, this is a rasam that I would happily drink. Ah, tomato soup, Very good, very good. Most people out here take the biryani parcel. Take away, yeah. Because the place inside is rather basic. So I guess it's not the sort that's conducive to dining and enjoying the biryani. But take some home and savor it. But don't forget to take that rasam. Yeah, rasam. And please get your own dabbas. It's mm. a few friends or guests at home. So Babu was my savior. I used to get like two, three dabbas and he would go to dinner and my guests would be about 10 to 12 people. So no, Babu biryani. Babu biryani, yeah. And you know, I would tempt them with Babu biryani and that's how people would come home. Fantastic. Well, we've thoroughly enjoyed our uh, biryani experience here. Park aside, any notions that you may have of a conventional biryani? It's a rustic village style biryani, perhaps a village that he comes from. That's the sort of biryani that you will taste. It's mostly the kushka which is flavoured with all that spice, with all that green masala. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, for all the food that we've eaten, we've paid all of 200 rupees. That is the sort of uh, honesty at which the food is priced here. So there's no board out here. But as you can see, this place doesn't need to advertise itself. There are plenty of patrons, many of whom have been coming here for the last 20 years. If the biryani is so tasty, I have to eat it in my own way. I have to eat it in my own way. So she is the architect behind that biryani there. What do you do, madam? I am from Vellur. Vellur. So Vellur, what do you do in my own way? I have to eat it in my own way. Very nice. Mrs. Lata Babu, the maker of that biryani. So if you happen to be in this area in Shishadri Puram, definitely find your way to Babu Biryani Angadi and savour some of that biryani. That biryani with that chicken and also that liver. And to end things, to close things, that rasam. Yeah. Huh? Best was the masal vada. Best was masal vada. Yeah. <laughs> so of course she didn't have the liver, she had the masal vada. It's already over if you can see. Just It's not even an hour since he started and half the tappale is over. <laughs> so it's only one o'clock. And uh, so if you want to come here, get here early because they only make a limited quantity. They only make one day and that's basically that. I think when you're tasting something new, it's very important to park aside the notions of what you may have tasted earlier. Because many a times people have different notions of what they expect in a biryani. Well, this is the sort of biryani that Mrs. Lata Babu makes at home to a recipe that she has learned from the generations that came before her. So that's the sort of biryani to expect. I hope you've enjoyed this. I don't know if it's going to be a short and sweet vlog. Certainly a spicy one though. Until the next time, take care, stay safe. Bye-bye.